Hi everyone, welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the Geologist. It's non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand and we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. It's time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to my Venta Boots today. So yeah, I hope to have some exciting games. Uh, just it's concerning the time control. I usually prefer 3 0 and then okay, maybe some bullet in the end. So let's just see how that goes. Okay, first game getting black. We'll see what kind of opening we will get here. A d4, knight f6, c4, e6. So now, okay, some nimso or queen's gambit. Okay, where the queen's gambit. G3, that's Catalan. Mm. Uh, and okay, knight C3. I think that's also like a modern move, like around one and a half years ago, maybe two. So I think bishop G2, DC4, that's the way it goes. And then, yeah, I think castles usually. Yeah, I mean, this has been a bit popular for white also because, I mean, this can occur from different move for us. Yeah, also from them. So knight f3, it would have been possible. Okay, e3 now. Okay, I should try to protect this pawn on c4 somehow, but yeah, queen e2 is threatening, and if I have to go for some like a6, b5, there's always knight e5 problem. So I feel like rook b8 should be the move. And just to step out of its diagonal on g2, a8. Knight d2, okay. So now b5 doesn't work. Knight a5, maybe. Yeah, I think knight a5 should be the move. Yeah, queen a4, and now I have c5 or bishop d3. I don't know what to play. Also, I mean, queen e7 would be possible, but then a3 was annoying me a bit. Okay. Feel like I'm gonna go c5 and I also shouldn't play too slow. Dc5 and then I will take on t3, play bishop d7, bishop c6, and okay, claim that those two pawns are not too great, especially with the bishop on c1. 
I mean, c5 was purely for the purpose of defending the knight on a5. Yeah, not bishop c6, and let's see. I mean, e4, maybe I can even go queen d3. That might be, I oh, know, knight a5 the same. So then uh, e4, yeah, then b5 will be the move. Or b6, I don't know yet. Okay, he allows the exchange on g2, which, you know, I'm happy about it. And then, yeah, queen c7, queen c6 would be an idea. But okay, c4 is singing for the moment. Okay, I will go knight d5. I mean, queen has to go back to b2 or a3, and then I will go queen c7. Yeah. So now, e4 or knight e4. And I can go back to f6 or e7. I feel like I should go back to f6. And now I'm going to try to like find something concrete because like this bishop on c1 is still not developed. And yeah, it would be good to find a way to punish this. d8. But yeah, it's not easy. I mean, white is also really solid here. Okay, I'm going to go knight c6 and have the queen c4 and knight d5. I think it should be fine for black. I mean, I have the square on d3. Also, pawns are not... Oh, okay, I will even get my pawn back. That's also good. But I should speed up a little. I think queen c4 is a strong move now, because if he takes, then both the bishop on b2 and pawn on e4 are attacked. And also, otherwise, I don't think there's a real way to defend e4. Queen e3 now. Yeah, I'm just going to take the pawn. And then I will have to try to win that game. So rook e1. Yeah. I, okay, I can always go like knight e3. Yeah, I also have to. Maybe. Okay, f5 was maybe possible. But yeah, this is pawn up. Knight is not getting trapped. And then. Okay, I just need to play fast enough. That's it. Knight a5, knight c5. Still might see far. Rook it and now yeah, I will try to play b6 and then slowly attack the pawn on c3 or immediately if he allows me to like this. Okay, there's rook a5, but yeah, b6. I'll win another pawn and then should be winning. Okay. Yeah, I could have taken on a2, but then there was rook a1. So this was not the real full pawn. Okay, that's an extra exchange because this is check, and yeah, I think now it's really over. Also, no real tricks anymore. Yeah, okay, good game. I think, yeah, probably somewhere around queen e2 it went wrong, yeah, because if I get the pawn spec, then of course my structure is better. Also, the bishop was not too good. Next one. Okay, like again. So e4. Okay, I will play the Karakan. C6 and d5. Wait, I mean here. What has all kind of moves? Here. H4. Okay, I'm just going to play h6. I think h5 is normally the better move, but okay, this is also not too bad, I think. Yeah, this queen f5, queen a6 is a very common idea in this kind of positions. Usually it happens with h5 pawn for black, but okay, I mean, it's more or less the same, at least the same idea. So queen's exchange, and now, yeah, I think white really wants to get b4, so c5, that's good. Yeah, now I need to bring the other knight. I mean, usually it's 
good to exchange the greens because there's no more like mating attack on the king's side. And sometimes these pawns can be weak, can be four now. And maybe this was, I shouldn't have allowed this because now CD for this, there might be B5. I'm not sure yet, but at least it's possible. Yeah, so okay, I have to go CB4, which is not something you really want to do, but okay. And then, yeah, most likely knight c7 next move. Okay, I will try to play with a5 if possible, but for now I can also start by developing pieces, just bishop b7 and then castles or king d7, depending on what white does. I mean, it's important that like some b5, c4 doesn't work for now, and then the yeah, ideal case would be to get knight d5 and then block everything. Okay, I think knight b3. Okay, I can allow knight c5 or knight a5, but I'll just go b6, trying to control everything here. Yeah, I like my position. I mean, it's easy to play also. I mean, I'll just go king d7, rook c8, knight b5, a5. I mean, all those moves. Cool. There's not much white can do. I mean, white can try to like double on the a file maybe or push a four or something, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do what I had planned already. Knight b5. I'm not that sure whether I really need it. I mean, I could also play a5 immediately here. Okay, I'm gonna go a5 immediately. Because, yeah, this f5 g5 stuff can be dangerous, so I'm trying to be a bit faster here. Yeah, and again, I think exchanging material is good with this pass pawn also. No, okay, c4. I think I want to take. No, it's not that easy. I mean, might be garish, although I think that, you know, with this knight on d5, it's rather y2 has to be careful. Yeah, just have to bring the king. And now for me, the question is, do I want to exchange bishops or knights or nothing? Or, I mean, okay, exchanging both would be the ideal case normally, but yeah, that's not going to be easy, so... Um, yeah, probably exchanging bishops is good under the right circumstances. If I get king b5, bishop b4, bishop b4, king b4, I think that's good enough. I mean, okay, king e4, um, g5, okay. So trying with some breakthroughs, but I don't quite see how this is supposed to work. If I just take on f5, I mean, g6, I can also just take. I mean, okay, without the knights, this would be now the typical idea. G6, FG6, E6, and white wins. But yeah, now I'm just E7 controlled. Knight F4, okay. Take, take, C3. Okay, I think I can just take because I will promote with check. Yeah, I will promote with check. And okay, then that's it. Okay. So yeah, I think like slowly got a little bit of advantage and then it went rather easy. But yeah, I mean, those end games are really unpleasant to play for, but that's for sure. Okay, so I see there's a 2-9 challenging, so let's try. I'm really, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how this goes. But yeah, I really need to focus now also, of course. I mean, it will certainly be a tough game. Okay, so we have Nimso E3 here. And yeah, I think that's still theory. So yeah, here, I mean, white has many moves taking on D5, Bishop C2, Rook E1. Okay, Rook E1.
So yeah, bishop f4 and rook d8. Yeah, now the trick is always that bishop d6, rook d6, knight f4, queen d1. Rook d8 is not made. It's not possible because there's still the pin. So this is all right for black. Yeah, I think I have to go to uh, f8. It's always this question that, you know, can white get something here or is it just all right for black? Yeah. So my C3, okay, E4 is hanging. So I feel like, okay, I should most likely take it. Yeah, I'm not sure about this position. I mean, it's really complicated. I have this open king and also, okay, I have a pawn up, but still I need like bishop g4, but really nice to have on the board, yeah, just to be a bit more safe, but yeah, not easy. But okay, he's also burning quite a lot of time, which is pretty good for me. I mean, we are playing 3-0 and already one minute ahead. So he basically has to play bullet already. Yeah. And now it's a huge question for me. How should I take back? Because hg5, that's rook e5, and now this is immediate threat. And also queen g5 is not really the move you want to make. So, yeah. Okay. Probably I can go bishop g4 immediately because gh6 dead bishop f3. So I hope this works. Yeah, really complicated. I mean, not the position you want to have only like yeah, two minutes or 40 seconds. And I mean, this is really hard to understand also. Okay, I'm going to take on it, g5, probably fg5, and then okay. rook e5. I think I have f6. And the rook has to go back somewhere. I mean, e3 is not that good because then I also have gf. Oh, okay, knight d5. Wow. That's unexpected. But I also don't quite see the point of it yet. I mean, I can take on d2, knight f6. Okay, he will take the queen back, but still that's piece up for me. And also rook d5, queen b4, and then just f e5 looks like... Okay, I'm going to go rook d5. It looks easier, but feels like this should be winning. Queen b7. Okay, I mean rook d8. Now I have just rook d7. Yeah, I mean, it has to be winning. It's just rook up. Okay, of course, white has few pawns, but <clears throat> this shouldn't be enough. Yeah, we'll go to... Okay, I don't, I don't think it really matters where I'm going, but so h8 seems safest. And okay, now yeah, I need to be a bit accurate here because there's like some queen f6 checks threatening. So I think probably this was the wrong square. Probably g7 was better. But okay, I think I can still go to g Oh, okay, I fell for a trick. That's not good. <laughs> okay, I just blundered this. That's really bad. Okay, I have to take on a7 and then queen g8. Yeah. And see what happens here. I'm not quite sure about it, to be honest. Okay, I'll go to h6 once. Uh, okay, queen f8. Yeah, king g6 I can't go because then bishop d3, so I'll have to go rook g7. Um, okay, we'll go to g6. Oh, okay, what did I do to my position? I mean, it was just winning and now it's like horribly complicated and nobody knows what's going on. Oh, 
yeah, I think it might be just no way for me to, yeah, it's to draw. Okay, this is really bad by me. I mean, this was totally winning and then just pondering queen d8. Okay, yeah, I should have. No, then also going to g7 wasn't right, but going to h8, queen b6, and then something else. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it wasn't that easy, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was winning. So, okay, let's see another one. Maybe a little bit less rating. Okay, first white game for today. So this is, I mean, usually I always believe that, you know, if black plays the knight to c6 without having to, white will be better. Yeah? Just usually you put the knight on c6 after playing c5, and if you do it before, at least like from a general strategical point of view, there's something wrong with it. So I'm really happy about this. And you also see right now, there's no easy way to develop the pieces for black. So I see in chat, there's the question whether I will be coming to India for the Olympiad. And, you know, okay, I have to say, I don't really know. I mean, the, the national team is not yet nominated. So I think it's not like 100% sure, but yeah, I think I will be there. And okay, also what board I'm going to play, I really don't know yet. I mean, I don't even know if I'm really going to play. So that which board exactly we will, I mean, I think it will be determined shortly before the tournament starts. So yeah, I think here you can see that this position really is pleasant for white. I mean, bishop on d7 is more or less totally dead. And then also, I mean, none of the pieces are that great. Yes, at some point I will try to play e5 and start the mating attack probably just right now, knight e5, knight e4, and then something with knight g5 on, and this yeah, b1, h7 diagonal, that's going to be the idea. F5, okay. So yeah, I'm going to take, I mean, this structure has to be good for white and then, um, yeah, just knight e5, I mean. This is really like nice squares. And I can go knight g5 if I want to, and also knight c5. I mean, knight c5 is more the strategical way. Okay, I like knight g5 better, I think, just trying to mate. Also, I'm threatening very easy just taking on d7 and taking on e6. So this also, yeah, not even that easy to defend. Thank you. Also, I'm threatening knight takes c6, actually. Because then after bishop c6, there's queen e6 check. So I would say quite a lot of trouble for black here. Yeah, I mean, over the board tournaments, I don't have anything planned in the like very near future, but I'm going to play in the Prague Challengers tournament in June. And then also in the summer, of course, yeah, maybe Olympiad. I'm going to play in Beal, the Grand Master tournament. So there will be quite many strong tournaments in the summer. And right now I'm yeah, trying to prepare for that period. So yeah, here I'm getting one pawn and bishop pair. So yeah, rook fc8 has to be played and then matter of technique basically i think position should be at least very close to winning if not already winning yeah so bishop f5 i mean this cannot really move so then yeah i mean the only problem is this bishop on b2 yeah this it's blockaded for the moment but okay if i get c6 pawn for free i'm gonna take it might be four rook c7 okay that's now lost for sure and that's another pawn And okay, now this exactly bishop I called bad before will be extremely, extremely strong. That's nice. Okay, yeah, good game was 
yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. This Bishop Knight on C6 can really make life hard. This is not usually not what you want to have. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, I mean, I prefer 3 0 2 3 2. That's usually the idea. So, okay, we are having black again. E4. Okay, I'm going to stick to Karakan. And F3. Okay. Yeah, I mean, against Karakan, there are really like many interesting options for white. Also, F3 is, of course, really aggressive idea. I mean, I always have to be accurate. Yeah, for example, of the knight of six, uh, that would have been uh, bishop f7. So that was like, always something to look out for. But yeah, I always believe that the long term black is all right. If I get like bishop d6, queen e7, and all this, then it should be fine. C3. Okay, just gonna go bishop d6. As I said, that's the plan. And okay, let's play h6. I mean, I think this is like the usual position. I mean, it's not like what engine suggests as main idea for white, but I still think it's like one of the main positions. Yeah, I mean, white has to be a bit accurate that I mean to know that this e4 pawn might be hanging. So at some point I might start to play g5, e d5, and then knight e4 or something. Of course, I mean immediately this like nearly for sure will work because I still have the king in the middle. But g5, I think I can go anyway. Now I could take on e4 or or play knight h5. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Okay, I think I'm going to try to pin out that shaft because I mean, taking this bishop on g3 would be great. And otherwise, also placing that on f4 also looks quite nice. Bishop e5. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I mean here. There's really quite a lot to calculate, but I think bishop e5, d5, knight e5 is the best option. I mean, if, if I take with the knight, so let's say knight e5, d5, bishop e5, then there's bishop f7, queen f7, knight e5, and then bishop d1, knight f7. So that's, I think, the idea. But if I take with the bishop, d5, knight e5, then I have the option to take uh, with the knight of the bishop f7. So then I have knight f7. And if knight e5 immediately, then I can take on d1. And I don't see that this bishop f7, king d8 is like doing too much here. So I think that, yeah, this should be good for black. Also, D5, I could start with Long Castle, actually. Oh, okay. Bishop F7 immediately. I don't believe that this will work, but okay, we will see. I mean, I don't really understand the idea. I mean, Queen F7, Knight E5, and then just Knight E5, Rook F7, Bishop D1. I mean, I'm two pieces up for the moment, so okay, we will see. Maybe I'm also blundering something. Of course, also possible. Yeah, I think I can. I mean, bishop d1, there's at least knight f7, and then it will be interesting. Rook f8, knight d6, king e7, but I can just take on e5, I think. And I don't really see what white can do here. So yeah, that's what I meant. It's two pieces up and yeah, of course, I mean, it's not like white has nothing, but it's not that many pawns and also okay, two pieces is quite much. Yeah, I would say. Okay, I'm even going to try to 
to be a bit more active, but yeah, okay, I would say with two pieces up, I can do even some weird or bad stuff and the position would still be winning. Okay, just gonna try to exchange rooks and then um, yeah, slowly start taking all the pawns. Yeah, okay, I think this was, yeah, I think this just didn't work, this sacrificing ideas, but of course, that's something to always watch out for in these kind of positions, that's for sure. So, okay, yeah, I'm gonna stick to the openings, I mean, so far it went relatively well. Okay, I mean, I blundered this one game while I was rook up, but okay, still. Let's go bishop g5. So that's Rago's in here. I mean, I think I I'm not, I don't think that I'm choosing like the officially good line, but that's at least playable. So yeah, I'm getting the pair of bishops and I'm gonna try to push e4 as well. And I can always like with a4, queen b1, try to like annoy but, like a little bit on the queen side, probably provoke c6 and then this bishop on c8 won't be that good anymore. G5, okay, G3. I mean, G5 is quite weakening, so that's, I would say, good news for me. But yeah, now D3 is attacked and I will lose the pair of bishops, so it's also has its benefits for black. And now the question, where am I going to put the queen? I mean, I can go queen B1 or queen C2. I think I'm going to go to B1 because after knight C3, I will just have something like queen B2 or B4. Knight has to move, and I will take b5 and c4. And otherwise, I'm forcing uh, black to take on g3, and then I can might even be able to think about queen b5, and then after bishop d7 or c6, queen e5. But I think that's too much. Then that's f6, so I'll just take back on g3. But yeah, I think this is really interesting. I like the position. I mean, this open h5 is really helpful, and this king on e8 basically has no square. I mean, it will just have to stay in the middle, and... Also, pieces are not developed yet. So I would say like a6, a4, c6 is start. And then okay, I will have to see what I can do. Okay, bishop d7, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to go a4 anyway. And knight e5. But yeah, this bishop on e7, I don't think it's the right square for the bishop. I mean, that's the square for the knight. And now knight has no squares simply. Maybe there's even bishop e2, bishop h5 problems at some point. I think this is already really good for white. Also, right now I'm feeling this usual idea. Let's say black has no move and I will take a b5, c b5, and then there's queen e4 taking the rook and the knight has no square, so I would win a piece. Yeah, that's also one typical motive. Of course, usually the queen is on d1 and would happen with queen f3, but I mean, it's the same idea. f5, okay, that's interesting i would say i mean can't be really good but probably there was just nothing really good okay we'll just go bishop e2 i mean i'm threatening bishop h5 check and also a b5 and bishop f3 so i feel like there will be just no way for black to defend everything g4 okay i mean i'm like 99 percent sure that i can take this pawn I mean, fg5, queen, fg4, queen, g6, this really can't work. This has to be, I mean, it's not made, but just I will win the material I want to win here. 
queen g7 and king e6 i can take queen h8 win the rook or go knight f7 and win the queen i can take the queen but so yeah i think that they're just probably g5 is not that good of an idea and then of course also bishop b7 is just the wrong square for the pieces and of course their position anyway is already pretty dangerous here Okay, so now black again. E4, yeah. Okay, I'll seek to curl again. E3, okay, D5. Okay, I'm getting the center immediately, so why not? I mean, also here, I don't think Black has any kind of opening troubles. I can just play the most logical and normal moves. Knight d7, h6, a5, knight f8, knight g6, and all those moves. a4, a5. Knight f1. And maybe I can try to play knight c5 here. At least it might be possible. Okay, I'm gonna try. Not quite sure about it, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think the idea is that after c5, there's d4. Also, not quite sure about how. Okay, well, let I not. I don't think that after d4, I have any kind of trouble, so I allow it. I think I push G4 here. This isolated pawn looks all right, I think. F3, but of course that's also quite a weakness. I have to decide where to go back. Yeah, we'll go to d7. I mean, on h5, I don't really have anything to do there. So, yeah, now I think knight e6, bishop c5 is an interesting idea. Also, a4 is hanging for the moment. So, basically, b3 is more or less forced, I think. And yeah, then, okay, we will see. So maybe I'm going to play knight e6, knight f5, and check. Or first rook c8. I mean, there are quite many possibilities for black. Bishop e3, okay. But I think I can take on a4 now. And yeah, we'll just try to go back to d7 to control f5 and b5. And then hoping that some of this extra pawn will help me win the game. But now I also have knight b3 actually. I'm going to do that. Just exchange the strong knight on d4. But yeah, I mean, that's not, it's still not that bad for white. It's, I mean, outpost on d4 is really strong and yeah, it will be quite a lot of work to win this position. If, I mean, of course, it's not won yet, but like trying to win this is not easy. Yeah, knight three. Okay, just good normal moves from white. I'm gonna take and yeah, I mean it's, it's nothing concrete here. And we'll just have to, you know, give it some time and hope that White will make some more mistakes here. So Rook C8. Yeah, I don't. I mean, the knight can move basically anywhere, but I don't think that there's any good square. So. Okay, bishop f1. Yeah, I mean, this bishop on b3 is somehow more or less dead. I mean, it's not moving anywhere, so that's something I should definitely try to work on. But also not that easy. So what can I do? Um, I mean, I can try to play bishop c4 somewhere. Okay, for now, I'm going to go rook d8.
Yeah, I already don't know. I mean, it's just a complicated position. Might see two. Okay, I mean, I'm all out of exchanging the rooks. And now I will try to get the knight somewhere. I mean, this king could potentially be weak. So that's one thing I can play for. For example, now queen h3 is a move, but just king g1, and I don't really see how this was supposed to help me. So I'm just playing knight d7. I have the idea of queen b6 trying to exchange the queens as well, and then that's at least one extra pawn. Okay. White also wants to exchange queens. Okay. I will allow it. No problem. But yeah, now I think this is just healthy extra pawn. Also, no isolated pawn anymore. So, yeah, bishop b5. I don't think I should allow the extra, I mean, uh, to allow bishop d7. Now, yeah, knight c5 for threatening. So, I'm going to go bishop c4, bishop c4, knight c4, and then, okay, the time will decide, but also probably the position was already relatively bad. But yeah, I mean, it was really not an easy game. Okay, so now let's see. I'm gonna stick to my opening. So knight f3 first move. C5. Okay, I'm gonna go e3. I mean, of course, this is like more or less full freestyle mode here for both sides. But I think d6 maybe is not the best idea. I mean, now I'm threatening d5, and if black has to play d5 on solve, then at least it's I want some tempi. Yeah, now d5, but I think I'll just go c4, knight c3, and try to be fast here. I mean. I have pretty big advantage in development, so that's certainly something I should try to use here. Okay, so uh, CD5. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way to win immediately, but probably that's just too much here, too much to ask for. Yeah, okay, I'm just will have to pay this better position. Of course, probably it's already much better, but still, it's, at least there's no immediate win. That's something already. I mean, after Black lost quite a few times, it would have been possible that somehow it's like possible to crush immediately, but at least I didn't find a way or see a way. Queen c7. Okay, I think I have bishop f4 if I want to. Queen f4, bishop c6, then yeah, 7 has to be protected, so... Yeah, but there's like queen d6, and the button, there's knight b5, okay. Knight e4, there's knight d5. Yeah, I think bishop f4 might win. C6. Now let's see. Yeah, queen e6 exactly. And but now this thing, this knight b5 is crushing because queen e6, there's knight c7 check. So queen has no real squares. Queen b4, there's a3. And yeah, the queen always has to protect e7. So I think I will just win the queen here. Yeah, I really don't see move for black here. I mean, queen c7 
was probably not the best move, but still it was very hard to find a move. I mean, there was just no real ideas. Because after bishop e6, I would have always had knight g5, and also, I mean, castling was not possible because of bishop c6, bishop c6, and queen e7. So, yeah, certainly not easy. Or black. Yeah. Okay, I think just a lot of the opening this went wrong for black here. So let's see if this one will go that well as well. Knight of Prey. Okay. Okay. C4, Knight of Six, Knight C3. D6. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just putting this bishop on G2 is really usually like a very safe option. So I think that's a good way. D6, okay, D4. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go Queen C2. I mean, I'm trying to get the control over the square on E4, maybe to push E4 myself. So that's the idea and I mean, knight c6, e4, e5, then maybe d5 and c5 is an option. I mean, certainly it's interesting position. Probably even d5 would be a move here. Okay, I'm just going to go d5. Looks interesting. Knight e5, okay. But yeah, don't pretty. I mean, I wouldn't like this double double pawns on the e-file from the black side. But yeah, probably the position is also not that good for white. I mean, I also have double pawns here, so it's certainly not easy. Yeah, now it was the question whether black will be able to take this pawn on e6 without uh, losing the pawn on b7 or not, that's still a question. Of course, I'm hoping that it won't be able, that's not possible, but here we will see. Now bishop b6, there's queen b7. Yeah, but I feel like black is totally fine here. I don't think that objectively there should be any problem. Okay, queen g6. Yeah, trying to take this pawn with the queen. Of course, also possible. But yeah, I think now if I get bishop a3, exchange the bishops, it might be all right for me to lose this pawn on e6. Yeah, now I have rook d6 with the pin. But again, yeah, I can't really believe that black should be in some kind of trouble here, but I also think that now I'm solid. Okay, now I can take and go rook d1 and I will take this pawn, I think, so why not? Yeah, I think there's no way to defend d5 right now. Yeah, rook to d8, but I can just go queen b3. I mean, still takes, takes, and I will take on d5, win this pawn, and then, okay, that's already something at least. E for K. Mm. I'm going to take on F7 and take on D4. Yeah, maybe the rook end game objectively is still a draw, but I mean, 
certainly is really bad. Also now for black, there's no real way to untangle here. So okay, now I have d7 and rook takes b7, I think. And then um, I was, at least I thought it was winning. Maybe I was wrong, but that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think, I mean, this like rook d8, rook b7, king c6 was only idea here. Now it's just two pawns up for nothing. So this is winning. Okay, I don't think that any kind of mates will be possible here. So that's, of course, I mean, a try, you can try, but I don't think it should actually work here. The idea was now just to break with g4 the structure and then slowly push the pawns and win the game. So, okay, I'm gonna search for the next one. So, okay, let's see what the opening will be like right now here. I mean, I think we had mostly Karakan today. I mean, think like one Catalan and one Nimzo. Okay, I'm just going to wait a little bit and then find another game. Okay, so then, um, yeah, um, another game. C4, okay, something new. Knight F6. Knight C5. We're getting kind of a pan of here. I think this is already a good version for me. I mean, usually I don't think that you should allow DC4 from the white side here. Bishop e3. Yeah, okay, I don't think I can win the pawn immediately here, but I mean, just isolated pawn is not too great. And if I can just do, normally develop, have a solid position, pieces on good places, I think I'm happy that's just it. A3, okay. So the idea is to get bishop to a2 and also prevent knight b4. But yeah, I'm thinking about how I'm going to be able to make use of this pin uh, with the queen and bishop g4, queen b1. Bishop a2, and now yeah, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm gonna go knight a5, trying to put the knight on c4. Queen okay. d3, but yeah, I can take on f3 now. I mean, that's enough for me. If I can destroy the pawn structure, that's something. Yeah, rook d1. 
I'm always like watching out for this D5 ideas. Probably I will have ideas just trying to mate after that now, like with knight h5, queen h4, just everything's coming there. Bishop g5. Yeah, okay, that's understandable. h6, bishop h4 most likely. Or take, yeah, I mean, both is possible, I don't know which is what's better. Okay, you go. Yeah, and now I have the option to play g5, but I don't really like to be that aggressive right now if I have solid pawn structure. Yeah, bishop b1, threatening bishop f6, and, and then mate on g7. So I feel like I have to go g6. And rook e1, and now knight h5. That's a very typical idea to this knight h5. I just want to yeah, exchange something here. But of course, I don't really want to take on g3 right now because then after h3, he just the structure is repaired. So I'm going to try to find something else here. Yeah, now d5. Yeah, it's not that easy for me right now. Okay, I'm gonna take. I feel like taking on B2 would be too dangerous, but this is also not exactly what I wanted here. But yeah, at least I have this knight D4 idea still, so it's complex position. Queen E4, okay. Queen G5. Knight e7, I will take queen e7, and yeah, I'm just gonna take on b2 right now. Yeah, but that's at least full pawn up, so that's I will have to see whether I can secure the pawn, but at least for now it's a pawn. Okay, taking on a3, rook b Okay, that's a rook. <laughs> After rook e7, there's still a rook e1, so. Yeah, I mean, tough game. I feel like, okay, white was maybe even better uh, at some point after this d5 here, but at least I think pretty good game. So d4, knight f6. Um, C4, E6, so again, Nimtso, or like some kind of queen scan, but okay. Again, one more Nimtso. Of Knight F3. Okay. Yeah, I think this is quite good for me already. I mean, that's at least something I would say that usually. Uh, white would try to like push e4 as quick as possible and right now with knight f3 that's not really that well possible anymore okay i'm just gonna start by attacking this pawn on c4 and see what happens e4 i think i have g5 okay so Maybe I run into some kind of opening trap here. <laughs> um, okay, h5, bishop g5, and um, yeah, what am I going to do? Yeah, this pin is really unpleasant here. Yeah, I'm just going to take on e4 then. Hopefully, this is also at least works the way I wanted to. So now knight e4, yeah, I will go queen h4. And okay, I still believe that this pawn structure for double pawns on the C file is not too good. So maybe that's something I can play on. Okay, 
knight f7. That's interesting. Okay, I'm just taking h4 and I'm threatening queen f2 mate. So I think right now I should be winning. Yeah, okay, that's just mate. So, okay, I hope at least knight e4 worked as it seems. That's good. Okay, now, yeah, I'll stick to knight f3. I mean, so far, I didn't have any too big problems here, so that's quite good, I think. Okay, so, yeah, by the way, a little more, but then I will have to find another game. Okay, so new opponent. Um, So we have just wait a little bit, I mean. Okay, so then again, new opponent. Yeah, so this is like, I think rather easy to play setup with white here. So that's why I'm choosing this. Okay, f5. Yeah, I mean, there were ideas with knight g5 already, so probably that's why. And of course, f5 also is kind of a weakness. Yeah, I mean, if black gets e5, then it's great. But if not, then, okay, I can be, I would say, quite happy about the way that things have been going here. Yeah, but this is always really complex kind of position. I mean, should black allow h6, should black play, like play h6 himself and weaken this g6 square? I mean, this is never easy to decide what to do here. So I get that, yeah, I mean, like taking some time here is normal, at, or at least I think it's also necessary, maybe. Okay, rook c8. Yeah, I feel like I should get out of this c file. I mean, all this knight d4 ideas are always annoying. Queen e8, okay. So yeah, now it's getting more concrete because h5 is singing and I really need to find a way to defend this or at least more as indirectly defend this. E7 back. Maybe I can try to play knight b5 right now. I mean, a7 is hanging and I'm putting knight d6. But yeah, I'm really not sure about the position. I mean, this is very complex and not easy to evaluate as well. D8. I mean, certainly taking on A7 right now looks, I don't know, 
a bit slower or like not right, but also it's not easy to find something else. So yeah, I'm just gonna shake it. I really don't, I'm not that happy about it, but I don't really see something better here. So, okay, knight e5. Yeah, knight d4, there was queen f7, so I don't think that this would have really helped me with anything. Queen g5, and now, of course, some kind of knight moves are threatening, so I really need to be occurred here. Yeah, probably I'm going to go back to f3. This wasn't too good of an idea, and I don't want... I mean, it's... Probably there were no real threats, but it's just dangerous and then blitz you don't want to like have always to worry about some kind of tricks happening there. But yeah, I don't really like my position here. And this bishop on b7 is really strong and also, I mean, black has just pretty much no problem here. Okay, bishop c8, then at least that's good for me. I mean, it's a bit more passive now. As this g2 spot is not that weak anymore. Okay, so now, yeah, I really need to find an idea because the problem was that after bishop c8, this uh, idea with e5 was threatening, so that's why I went back. Knight f6, okay. Can go knight d6. Knight c4. I'm trying to put the knight to e5 because I think that then I can stabilize a bit. Also, knight takes b6, of course, is threatening. And I'll take on b6. And I have to be fast right now. Don't want to get flagged here. Yeah, but okay, now I think position is good and also I'm going to win on time. That's... But yeah, I think really good game by him. I didn't like my position somewhere, so yeah, really interesting there. Okay, so I'm getting another white. Oh, my top four candidates predictions. That's, I would say, really, really tough. I mean, of course, I mean, now that Ding, if he gets to the candidates, then I think, of course, he's some kind of a favorite with his rating. Uh, also, because last year, I mean, okay, this first half didn't go well for him, but yes, in the second half, he also played a really, pretty good tournament. Okay, at least, I would say, from my perspective, impressive tournament. And also... Yeah, I think he will be motivated, but of course, also all the others. Yeah, I mean, who knows uh, who's going to play good or bad. It's also like depending on how the tournament starts for everyone. I mean, of course, also will be interesting to see if Nakamura can keep up with this like incredible performance that he showed in the Grand Prix series. So, yeah, I'm really just interested to see what will happen there. I mean, I don't think anyone can really predict Yeah, right now, like, Black has two double pawns, so I feel like, from a strategic point of view, I'm really happy, and I'll just try to win it slowly here. I mean, just play on the weaknesses, basically fix the weakness with c4, and then, yeah, rook c1. Probably it's not that much of advantage, actually, but I still think it's pleasant. Okay, 
Oh, this allows night A4, and I think that's really good for me. D4, okay, but now, yeah, just win the pawn, and that's, I would say, already really close to winning. I will just, I mean, this pawn, I can now exchange all the rooks and uh, just not against bishop and games normally should be winning. So that's, I think, quite a big problem. Yeah, we just have one open file. So I'll just go king e2, put the rooks on the d file, and either I'm going to invade like through the d file or I'm going to exchange all rooks and then win the resulting end game. And to be honest, I don't know yet which Magnus Tours or Champions Chesters I'm going to play or also when or if I'm going to play some of those tournaments. I think this is also like a tournament rather sharp before the tournament starts. So that's not something I can, I don't know about at, at the moment at least. So another Karakan here. And yeah, this side of six move is also, I would say, rather modern. I mean, usually in the, like, I would say, like around 20 years ago, that idea was always with GF6 then to play. But yeah, of course, also this changed a bit with engines and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna try to like maintain the pin there and then maybe something like rook c8, bishop b8, queen c7, just simply threatening mate there. So yeah, I think about this position, I can be happy. Yeah, G4 is quite a big weakness, and now I'll have control over this F4 square. Can bring the rooks. Should be good for me, the position. F5. I mean, now this king is just weak, and white also has no real play himself yeah this is i think the biggest problem that just i mean usually you try to push like c45 or exchange everything and set it in the end game the double pawn is not as efficient as one extra pawn on the queen side here yeah but right now i mean i just have the attack i have the squares here i can go king g7 rook g8 also bishop f4 maybe knight f4 check some point so that's good for me Knight g5. Yeah, I think exchanging this knight is a pretty good idea, but I will just play knight g7 because I obviously don't want to exchange the knight. By the way, I would say that, you know, after this game, I will start taking also bullet challenges. I mean, okay, I will also play bits if this is more requested, but I mean, bullet is also possible, I would say, after this game. I mean, by bullet, I mean 1-0, yeah. Everything shorter, I feel like while talking, I will just get flagged every game. So I think shorter than that shouldn't be, but I think I will manage. Okay, this is now very nice fork meaning the queen. But anyway, I think the position was already rather bad for white there. Mm. 
Okay, Simo is still Blitz Challenger, so we'll then stick to Blitz. Okay, so I'm going to play the same variation again. Okay, really similar position to the game I had before, but yeah, now with Bishop. On e2, it's a bit different. I think that now this bishop g4 move is not that, wouldn't be that efficient anymore. So, yeah, I will just, yeah, maybe I will do it sometime, but at least not for the moment. Yeah, I will just normally develop queen e7, rook d8, and everything. Nothing special here. Okay, I think I can take h3 right now. Usually this is already the, already the time to do it. Yeah, I mean, now I'm fiddling rook e4, rook g4, also knight h4, and usually there's just no way to defend this. I mean, bishop of one is possible, but then I will just take on f3, get my piece back, and be two pawns up. So I think that's quite good. Yeah, queen e3, but I think knight that's sure. But yeah, okay, there's bishop c1 or something. See? Okay, still, yeah, knight h4 has to be the move. Also, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's just no move, right? I mean, bishop f1, there's not a three mate. Bishop moves queen d2 mate, knight h4, queen h2, queen h1 mate. So I think it's mate in, I don't know, a few moves. I mean, queen h7, knight g5 still prolongs the game, but doesn't change anything. I mean, it has to be lost here. Yeah, it's mate. Okay. It's okay, yeah. I mean, I don't need to play bullet, then we will stick to blitz. D4. Okay. So, yeah, this is like, I would say, some kind of changed catalog here. Because, yeah, why didn't play c4 that early? But, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I don't know, this is, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to play more or less what I feel like is acceptable. d5, okay, really aggressive here. Okay, I'm just gonna go d6. I mean, this pawn on b4 always. Is again, says that on b1. Yeah, knight has to go to d2 and then to f3, so it takes a bit longer than just putting the knight to c3, where it also would protect d5. Knight d3. Okay, I'm gonna castle. Interesting position here. Okay, I think I'm happy about this. I mean, I'll just get a free developing move. Yeah, b3, and then um, I can try, try to play c5 and a4. That's one idea. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Because, yeah, a3 is pretending, and also I have some ideas here. I mean, in long term, I have to be, uh, yeah, a bit cautious. I mean, there's always knight f4, knight d5. This d5 square can be problem and if the five square will be a problem then of course also the six pawn and so on but I think for the moment I can still prevent that from happening. 
but I have to be fast because I mean, long term, as I said, what should be really fine. Now, let's imagine, okay, he would get a knight f3, bishop g5, and everything. Then, of course, okay, that's already not the kind of position that I really want to play. So, yeah, now I lost my white, white square bishop and also, therefore, the control a bit, but at least I won one pawn. And also now, okay, I might lose an exchange, which wouldn't be too good. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try to find something to prevent that. I'm just not exactly sure how to do it for them. Okay, I think knight g4 might work. Yeah, take on e3, knight e3, and then, okay, most likely rook b2. Yeah, now it's kind of a question what is the best idea for me here. I mean, it's not that easy because this rook, yeah, I can put it on c3, I think. So rook c2, bishop e4, rook c3 might work. But still, it's, yeah, I think white has to be fine here. So. Yeah, now rook c3, he can just go back and then knight d5 next move. So that's also not really what I want to have play. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will just have to ex sacrifice the exchange there. And then, okay, this pawn b2, of course, is really strong, but I was not exactly sure on how strong it actually is. But yes, we will find out now. Yeah, probably I should have played bishop c3 instead. This was maybe not the best idea. But okay, I mean, I think that the best white, white has will be to give back the exchange. So somehow give a rook for the bishop one of six and pawn on b2, and then it will be equal material. Yeah. Rook d7. Yes, and okay, now okay, I'm going to play bishop d4. Yeah, it's really not easy to play right now because this knight doesn't really have any squares okay now it gets out i think that now if i get the knight out then the position will be really good for me that's my feeling but at least i'm happy that now i feel i'm getting out and the position should be good that's what i needed this was this rook on b1 is more or less doomed to stay there forever and yeah now i can slowly start it to knight g4 or bishop d4 and everything will come and then i'm gonna see okay i still think that just okay now this is nice fork getting the rook and i'm pretty sure that this position right now has to be one yeah, taking another pawn Yeah, that's the bishop as well. So yeah, good game here. Okay, he's really trying to be really fast, but yeah, interesting game. So let's find some more. Okay, I changed to one d4 for now. No particular reason, just <laughs> trying to play something else as well. Okay, I think this will be like great version of the Grunfeld. That's peace. That's a pawn. That's, I think, another pawn. Okay, bishop six is okay. I'm just 
trying to take all the material. Bishop h6, I think I'm going to win the exchange as well right now. Okay, so I'm just going to take on a fake. And yeah, bring the knight and e5, knight, and then bishop d3 or something. I think like the best would be to go, yeah, queen f6 or queen e7 and then castle long. Okay, queen exchange, I don't have any problem with that. Taking that much material up, I don't think that there's any chance to hold for black. And just now, H pawn will run. Yeah, and the H pawn still is just pushing. Yeah, now I'm trying to put another on f5 first in order to like prevent bishop g7 also after h7. That's why I didn't go h7 immediately. Yeah, the pawns are just too strong. And yeah, I'll promote the h pawn. Okay, I don't think there's any kind of stalemate with this, all those pawns left. And yeah, now queen d7 next move will be made. Okay, maybe let's try to find another game. Okay, so another Carol can. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, this line with c4 is also the more than I think this h3 at some point is like the idea Magnus played in the Rapid and Blitz Championship. So this is, I mean, not something entirely new. C5. I'm not sure about c5. I mean, I have already a5 played, so I'm trying to break now b6, f6, anything just yeah, try to use that white's development is still quite a bit behind. So yeah, now that b4 is played, I feel like I should play for f6, not b6. That's why I think it was better to just play knight f3, bishop e2, and wait. Yeah, if I go b6, then b4, and otherwise, you know, you can save this tempo. Yeah, 
So yeah, knight e2 and okay, I'm gonna go f6. Just trying to open up the position and then maybe even e5 of the ef6, rook f6 if I get to that point. Okay, f4, so trying really hard to close everything, but I don't think this will actually be possible here. Okay, knight b3, I will take this. Yeah, now I can take on b4 and on a1 and then f3 and queen h4 and everything, I feel like. There should be a way to win already. Okay, bishop g2. Okay, I think queen h4 I can go anyway. I mean, this king f2 move is really sad because then it's nearly impossible to like unpin in a somehow close to comfortable way. And that's also now, okay, now the d4 is falling, like all the pawns are just falling. I think it's already totally winning here. Okay, e5. I take king g3, so it has to go back. And then queen d4 back. Knight f4 is coming also. Yeah, just taking all the pawns here. Yeah, no, I think it's mate in one, two, or three. So, yeah, okay, good game. I'm um, full. We'll find one more. I think that's going to be the last game for today. But, okay. Finishing with Carol Ken. So, yeah, I mean, quite a lot of those games today. I think this is all the theory. Now there's this possibility to go with g5 and g4, g5, running the d5 pawn, and then all the complications are yeah, just some rather normal stuff like yeah, knight e2, bishop g5, something like this. Okay, knight e5. Okay, I'm not sure whether I should take this. I'm not doing it for now, but yeah, I was just not sure. I mean, it's complicated. But like this, I feel like I can be happy. I mean, this g4 is always huge weakness, and now, I mean, there's no real check, so I will just... If I get to like slowly attack it, then that's really what I want. Yeah, I mean, f6 and then slowly get to the h file or try to put a piece on f4 and then slowly attack. That's the idea. Okay, so rook h1, h4 is white's plan. Okay, I don't think it, this should be that dangerous, but okay. I'm, we are gonna see. I mean, I really have active pieces here and this is usually really important. I mean, opening up the f-file now would be, I feel like, more or less deadly already. I mean, rook f8, knight c5, rook f4, everything's coming here. Yeah, knight c5 now. Winning already material. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I forgot about this queen b5 move. Okay, so then, yeah, I'll have to go rook f8. Yeah, that's a nice little trick this queen b5 move. But I still think the position is just lost, but nevertheless, nice idea. And now I think I'll just go rook f4, queen c5, rook f3. Yeah, I mean, this pressure along the f5 is really, really dangerous for white. Also, rook on h1 does pretty much nothing for the moment. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Actually, there was queen f8 check. I totally missed it again. Yeah, queen f8, queen f8, and rook f3, and then only white could have been better. So that was really, yeah, thunder by me. 
wondering quite a lot in this game, I see. I mean, also already this, uh, yeah, this uh, queen b5 move, then also this. But yeah, I think now this is just, the rook is too passive on h1. Yeah, that's not not the way you can survive those end games normally, but still it's not that clear. But yeah, I think now it should be lost. Those pawns are also really weak. I'm pawn up already. So yeah, now king has to start running. Yeah, now it's b4, so I'm winning the other point, then that's winning for, for sure. King is starting to enter. Supporting the pawn as well. Okay, I think this is has to be winning. And now usual idea, king c4, pushing the rook away, and then rook c3 check, rook b3, like cutting the rook and then promoting. That's a very typical idea in this kind of positions. Okay. Rook up should be enough here <laughs> to win. So yeah, good game. I mean, of course, this one blunder wasn't too good. We're at the rook up, but I think overall quite good performance. Also, I think quite many nice games. I feel like also rather high quality. I mean, of course, blunders always happen a bit, but yeah, I think also a nice session today. So yeah, hope to see you all soon sometime. And then, okay, bye. Hi everybody and welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the you know, this, this non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand. And we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys for the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery.